Hi, in this video I am going to give an overview of SC motion which is a motion dynamic simulation add-in for space claim. Uh, this particular assembly is a slider crank that has 3D motion. It comprises of these five components and uh, different assembly conditions in space claim have been assigned between them. These are geometric in nature and all these were assigned using the assembly tab located right here. Let's go to SC motion, which is just a tab away. Click on SC motion, click on start, and it converts all the geometric constraints into mechanical joint. And there's a one, one is to one mapping between that. As you can see, all the joints are listed, and uh, these are the mechanical joint name: cylindrical, planar, spherical, and all the components are also listed here. So if you click on a particular component, all the conditions or joints assigned with them are highlighted in yellow and at the same time it's also highlighted in the 3D model. Now let's click on a particular joint and that is highlighted as well in the 3D model and as you can see there's also a small set of markers that correspond to a particular joint. If you right click on a particular joint, so you have an option to set joint input, click on it and I've already set a joint input of 360 degrees per second for this particular crank motion. So you can click on apply. Now you are ready for your first simulation. This particular icon, clicking on it it will start simulation and the simulation is done this is a playback deck using which you can see the animation of it click on play and this is how the rotary motion of the crank is converted into translatory motion of the slider you can go back in the reverse direction stop anywhere you want and if you feel like making any changes in your space claim model so you just need to come out of SC motion clicking on exit go back to structure and uh, let me just okay say for instance you want to increase the uh, length of the crank so for that we may just disable this spherical joint by clicking on this and uh, let's hide it as well so that it's easy for us and let's go here select these two features the cylinder as well as the sphere inside it go to move and just increase the size by say 50 mm so once that is done then see we, th these are not yet mated so you just need to enable this again so space claim is intelligent enough to update its constraints so once this is done go back to AC motion click on start and the, the rotation that you had given is intact and let's have a look at other stuff here so you can also set gravity say we need to set a gravity in the global minus z direction let's put as minus 10 meters per second square and you can also play with the simulation settings so we may want to simulate it for say 5 seconds and number of frames can be 250 this is pretty standard error tolerance 10 to the power of minus 6 then click on simulate simulation is done So as you can see there is a problem with this and because of which our solver is giving an, an exception saying that the situation cannot be reached. So in that case what you can do is you can go back to your model make the changes again let's go back and let's disable it again and uh, let's hide this select these two go to move it's already enabled 
I can make it smaller okay so that is done click on solid click on this go back to SE motion start then then again simulate it okay this time the simulation has been successful and as you can see this and since we have simulated for 5 seconds it will complete 5 revolutions okay so let's stop it and there are other options as well if you go back to the first frame you have an option to record this animation as a video file and you also have an option to plot your results so if you click on a plot dialog and these are the so if you want to look at the variation of slider position so you can see the, this is the position in global X this is how sinusoidally the slider is moving and Y and Z should be 0 and constant or 0 in this case and similarly you can also have a look at uh, velocity as well as acceleration all the position velocity acceleration of uh, a particular component can be seen here at the same time users can also see the reaction forces and as well as moments I can disable these and since this is a translatory joint there is no moment and this is how the this is the inverse dynamics of the crank motion so okay and there are some options here as well you can uh, copy this particular image or export the data as a spreadsheet and you can also directly print it okay so this is about SE motion so we are going to l release more tutorials please uh, keep watching thank you